to Topics and Issues. I'm your host, Monica Renee, and today we're going to be talking about income tax season. I'm joined today by Katrina Jones, and Katrina joined us last time to talk about managing money. This time she's going to give us tips on income tax season. Thanks for joining me again, Katrina. Thank you, Monica. Katrina, where can we go to get taxes done for free? I know that you're not a tax expert, mm -hmm. but to the best of your ability, mm -hmm. can you explain what an earned income credit is mm -hmm. and who is eligible for it? Okay. Earned Income Credit, um, EIC, is a credit, um, a federal credit that is that, individ that some individuals and families earn when they work throughout the year. And, and it, yes, you're right, I'm, I'm not an expert, um, but a lot of people are eligible for this credit. And if your taxes um, do not exceed your earned income credit, um, you do get a, re you know, you are eligible, many people are eligible for a refund. Okay. Welcome um, to Topics and Issues. I'm your host, Monica Renee, and today I wanted to touch on some serious issues, sexual abuse, and sexual conduct. Today I'm joined by the social change specialist from the Greater Cleveland Rape Crisis Center and she's okay, going to can you introduce yourself and tell us what it is that you do. My title is social change specialist so basically what I do I help with the PR marketing and community outreach at the Rape Crisis Center. Okay okay can you explain three types of touches for kids that are in grades K through 2? One thing I think parents are really afraid to talk about this kind of thing. You know, we don't want to have the birds and bees talks with our kids. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking, oh, they're so little, we can't talk about this. But it's never too young, as long as you're talking about it age appropriately. And one of the okay. first things you can do is to let your child know that their body belongs to them. It's okay. off limits to anybody else. You can call our office too. Um, that number is 216-619-6194 if you want to make an appointment for therapy. But the hotline is usually the best number. Okay, well, first. thank you, Jackie. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for joining us. If you have any topics or issues that you would like me to discuss, just email me at Topics and Issues with Monica Renee at gmail.com. See you next time. So, Olivia, you're currently working in SPO, which is a student production office. What do you do there? Um, uh, not a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. So, I came into SPO, I think, with a strong, like, knowledge base in the arts because I have a bachelor's degree in art history, but in terms of, like, skill level with film production, very low. I just started doing all this. So basically I've been acting as a writer, director, and producer because those are the things I'm most comfortable with. Uh, I'm hoping I will get more into camera operation at some point in the future, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So <laughs> when you go to them, um, potentially like to work there, do you just tell them what your interests are and they try to place you where you, know, you want to do, like if you want to do directing, do they put you in more directorial? you know, settings, or if you want to do camera, do they place you on camera more? How does that go, or does the work just come, and you just ha kind of have to get what you can take and work with it? Charlie Wilson started his career with his two brothers as the Gap Band in 1967. As lead singer of the Gap Band, he led his songs such as Outstanding, You Dropped a Bomb on Me, and Yearning for Your Love. Throughout the late 80s to mid 90s, Charlie became addicted to drugs and alcohol, but in 1994, he entered rehab and has been clean for 18 years now. In 2005, he released his third solo album, Charlie, Last Name Wilson, and has been burning up the charts since then with hits like Magic, There Goes My Baby, you are and life of the party. Charlie has been blessing us with hits for 30 plus years now, and there's no signs of him slowing down anytime soon. This year, Charlie is nominated for two Grammys. Thanks for tuning in. This moment was brought to you by Village Television.